right. I get settled here. Here's the ukulele. Small as one, I think. I wonder who won I wonder who won this time Now is it cool of you to accept my invitation? Oh, so is it cool for you to expect me to pay for you?
guess that would be called the way you do. If you want me to do you the way you do me too. So, it's a pretty long title. Anyway, I'm doing it because I think I haven't played the ukulele in a long time. I, and I just like the fact that it's kind of like, what are those things called? Those um, single note things? God, I forgot. But anyway, funny how you can play one note. Well, that's on the blues scale. So I've been harping on that with the harp, you know. And I thought, well, I have no idea, like, what, you know, with a harp, I say, okay, this is an A harp, you know, and, um, second hole draw, um, third hole, half step, you know, that's a third, fourth hole blue. Did, well, the same type of thing here on the scales, but I have no idea what, what key it is, or what tune, I mean, I think it's a, yeah, even what tuning it's in. But I do know, the same thing with the scales, you know, like, one, two, three, fret, the open string here, that's the one. Uh, the third fret, that's the F flat of third. Fifth fret's gonna be the four. Then the um, sixth fret's gonna be the flat of five. And the sixth fret's gonna be the five. Tenth fret's gonna be the uh, flat of seventh. Twelfth fret's gonna be the one. So, that's a blues scale. Pretty simple. And if I, you, like we're talking about, you know, you practice that scale like. But then, you know, we you practice that and get kind of tired of it, maybe after 20 times or something. And then you can take it and go, what if you go like, starting on the, um, the five, go. So it's five, to, you know, five, 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 four. One, I mean, yeah. So five, 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 four, one, or. You got a cool lick there. I mean, you have it here too. from the five and then you'd bend that um that the five to the four so if, with harmonica uh you know you'd be on intro playing cross sharp you'd bend the you draw the four you bend the four um half step and then blow the fourth note you know and then um hit the second hole draw or third hole blow You're on the, that's a blow four, and then, and then that's a half step down on the third hold on. So that'd be five draw and fourth note, five draw half step bend, fourth note four, I mean fourth note blow. And then third note, half step bend, then uh, draw. I mean half step, draw, bend on the third note, and then draw natural. So those fourth note draw, fourth note half step, bend, fourth note blow, third note draw, half step, bend, third note. Uh, then, sorry about that, uh, third note blow, yeah, right, that's it. So, all that comes from... You might want to skip the half step bend on the five and go. Which I guess is also called the blue scale without that half step. I honestly get confused with uh, I know the minor pentatonic is five, 
the major, pen, the major pentatonic has five, which is like, okay, this is the major pentatonic, five notes. Actually, the major, I'll just say the major scale is like, One blow or four blow, second uh, four draw, uh, five blow, um, five draw, and six blow, and then back to the five draw, the five blow, the four draw, and the four blow. But I'll just do it on, on the ukulele as an example. It makes no difference what key it's in, and it's just how you can take this. So we're talking about the blue scale. Well, let's say we're talking about the major scale for a second. So let's see what happens with that, if I just play something with that. I'll try it on this, on this note, the same string I was working the blue scale on. I'll call this a G, G, A, not better yet, I'll call it a C, C, which is not really, C, D, E, F, G, certainly not what I think what I'm calling it I have no idea actually but I know that if I hit that on the harmonica that would be like blow on the four that'd be draw on the four blow on the five draw on the five sorry blow on, blow on the four draw on the four blow on the five draw on the, draw on the five blow on the six That's the major scale on the pentatonic, and if I get tired of playing it, well, what kind of, you can just be creative and go. All that is the same thing I'm doing, but. Hey, I don't even have a harmonica. Just to my point. Let's see if I've got one. Back here, back here somewhere. Oh, Lord, you have mercy. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I had some crummy luck with. You know, I see all these incredible harmonicas for sale all over the place. These fancy harmonicas, the type deals that. All kinds of things I can't even think of the names of when I first bought my first one, my first one ago, like five bucks or something, relatively cheap. Anyway, the point is that Gad yeah, is all kinds of harmonics out there. I'd say get one that plays. Don't get a cheap one if you're a beginner or anybody. But you know, especially you guys just beginning, don't get 
<laughs> they say the first hole is easier to draw on a side down than a makata back on a harmonica or whatever. Fuck all that. Okay, just get yourself a harmonica and yeah, find out what's cape you know, easier maybe than others. But the main thing is you gotta put it in your mouth and do the work. You can't expect the harmonica to do it for you. Go out and play as much as you can. And um and don't worry about all these new harmonicas that are coming out every second. Because when you get to a point where you feel like you need to buy stuff to make it work for you rather than you work to make it work, that's kind of, to me, the point I'm trying to make is that you're not going to get, if you want to just, no matter what you do and how much you file the reach down, uh, it's not going to play for you. So you got to do it yourself. I... <laughs> There wasn't a bunch of different harmonicas around when I first heard the place, so we were stuck with, I stuck with the Marine Band, most of us did. There were the Special 20s, there were the Blues Harps, you know, the Meister class came out. There were, you know, I mean, sure, other harmonicas, but the reality of it was that you, with Lee you know, they you get an A or a C, that's the best keys, I think, to start with, and then, and, you know, the B flat or whatever, and just put it in your mouth and play and learn how to bend. <laughs> After time, you'll learn. But first, you gotta learn basic stuff like tongue rolling or, or, or you know, puckering. Well, this note's blocked, so I'm gonna do it on the first hole draw. That's a cheap one. This is that's not a cheap harmonica to begin with, but it's blah. It's a whole marine band and they make good ones. This happens to be an old one and it's what I had in my bag. But the point I'm trying to make is that you don't have to just do this. Yeah, after a while. <laughs> That's just major scale stuff. Same thing with some little ukulele. <laughs> All that's some kind of scale. It, but you know. That's the eight. Blow and bent. This hard is nine. Nine. Blow. Nine. Half to bent. Eight. Bend. Blow. Ten hole blow, ten drop, ten blow bend, ten hole blow bend, blow bend not, and then blow. Ten, so it'll be ten blow, ten bend, half step, nine blow, nine blow half step. That's the eighth note blow. So you blow that natural. And then do that bend. So what kind of a thing, what part of the scale is that? Okay. Well, first of all, that's straight position on a B-flat harp. So we got the one. Not that it matters. It could be in harmonica. So we got the one on the ten blow. Then I'm bending it down to a D7. So 
So that would be um, the seventh. Uh, yeah, the natural seventh. And then that goes to the, um, let's see, natural seventh down to um, the, uh, let's see, from the first, first position, that would be the five. Well, that would be the flat of five, see, I've done that third lick. And then blow, that's the five. So that's kind of cool. You have that one, and then you're blowing it down half set for the seven. And then you're dropping it down to the flat of five, and then you're blowing the five. Flat of five to the um let's see <laughs> flat of five let's see B flat um C and D so B flat C to the um to the third that's the natural third let's see Yeah, to the natural third, but you can bend that down, or no, you can bend that down, then you bend down to the, the flat of third. <laughs> and then to the, um, starting on the one again, on the seventh. No, it's not cooperating for me to do that major scale up there. Um, so we'll see what happens in the future. I get this from my car. I'm called enough to do it. But the point is, I think you get the point. We're doing the major scale up here on the top of the harp, <laughs> bending it down half step to the seventh. Um, it's seventh um, flat. It's normal seven. So one. Back down to the seven, going backwards with this. <laughs> Normal seven. Then we're flattening the five by blowing the eight and and bending it. Then we're getting the five by blowing the eight. I mean the ninth. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, flattening the five, then getting the five, natural so blowing the nine, and then down to the eight, which is going to be your natural third. And then blowing that eight and then uh, bending it, and after half step. So it goes. Okay, starting over. One more time, starting over. That's a tenth blow. Can bend half it. Nine blow bend half it. Nine blow. Eight supposedly. Blow. Yeah, that is the eight. Yep, down to the one, which is the seven blow. So let's go back from the seven. Going backwards, it would be going forwards. I mean. Well, that seven would be the one.
So that's seven blow, eight blow bend, eight blow, nine blow, then bend, nine bend, blow, and then um, ten um, uh, bend blow. So the seventh starting seventh note again. All this is that's based on that major scale, but then one note is clogging on the H all. So it's the same thing. And that can also be extended, of course. But anyway, we're talking about the seventh home blow. Eight note blow uh, bent. Eight note blow, then ninth. Um, bend, blow, nine blow, ten blow, bend, ten blow, ten bend, nine bend, blow, nine blow, that's your nine blow, eight, eight blow, eight bend, blow, And then to the seventh blow. And going back one more time. The main, I think, the little trick, so to speak, I'm doing is the, is the nine draw that blow that half step bend before you hit the nine blow. It's a little different. If I'm doing it the other way, it sounds like. It sounds cool, but doing it like this, what I was doing it. Instead of it's only a half step, half note difference, but I think just a little difference, just little shades. Instead of that, instead of. And that's opposite on the eighth. It's a blow eight and then a bend uh, blow. So blow bend nine, blow nine, eight blow, then eight bend, and then seven natural. So that's part of the mega scale. I better know the word, but see, that's you can do that too. There's a lot you can do within the context of. <laughs> you can practice all kinds of little things. And much less, you know, the blues scale, like uh, in the cross harp thing. Was in... <laughs> what is this one? Like this is really not corporate at all. Back to the ukulele, folks. Um, so, I'm trying to say that with this blue scale, it's the same thing, just think of this as a stringed harmonica. So, one, flat a third, four, flat a five, five, flat a 
five seven five seven So I was singing that song about that song for just a second. I'm just playing a scale of bass. That's all I'm really I'm doing. Maybe a diddly bow. Is that what it is? The one one string instrument? God. Is that... it could be. It could be. Pound. I don't, I, I have some you know, my harmonicas that are, are going to be opening up soon, and um, I apologize for the ones that are, uh, I'm, <laughs> I don't know the pros out there that are teaching, they would be embarrassed to do, have grab a harmonica out of a bag, and well, some of it works, some of it doesn't, but, hey, we're going to run into that in real life, playing a gig here and there, I just got to deal with it, so why not show it to you when it happens to me, and I can look like a moron, and then maybe you won't when you're on stage. That's a pretty cool trade. So, um, but all my point was that you can do a lot within the context of practicing these boring scales, you know? Because I'll tell you, what I've been doing it over the years, really practicing the things, I'd be, I'd be ten times the player I am on everything. The harmonica, the guitar, the piano, everything. Even just half an hour, 15 minutes a day, four or five days a week, three or four days a week, over the last 30 years, can't imagine how much better I've been. But, I tell ya, this is a listed little song again here. Sometimes I was, this is not the song, I'm saying that I want to mess around because just me, if I want to hang on to another note, I hang on to a something, and not worry about coming back with a total bar form, it's fine, it's just me playing. And if you've got another musician and he doesn't know you're going to do that, and he gives you a dirty look because you don't change when you're supposed to, you tell him just to go to hell. Because it's you that's playing, he's got to follow you, if he's going to lead you. Now if, you gotta, if you're following him, that's a different story, but he's following you. And I can't tell you, it took me a while to learn that with R.L. Burnside. He did what he wanted to do, and I'd best follow him, because if I didn't, I was the one that looked like a moron, an idiot, you know, seriously. Not him, because he's just playing. And that's the thing, when you're playing with somebody else, you might suggest, hey, I might hang on to the one or the four, just be, be, be aware of that. Or I might hang on to five, or maybe even go to six, like... That's the natural six, doesn't sound very good, but... Five, six, seven... I hung on that 
one instead of going to the four. Instead of going to the four, so as a harmonic player, you might, you know, recall, think that you, or you might, you know, practice that where somebody's hanging on the one or or, or just doing the verse. And then instead of going, instead of going to the one, you go back to the four. So, so no, I'm telling you. into an eight bar thing to the four, you know. Tumble, tumble. change to the four from the one instead of staying on the one you go after the turn around then back to the one back to the four for that and to the one again for the start of a new um, you know, series of 12 bars I think that thing says I'm running out of power okay or it says something I don't know what it says oh it says I should dismiss the thing is what it says I don't know why it has to tell me the time and that big fat letters or numbers anyway I'm tired, and I'm going to go, and I hope, this is way longer than I thought it was going to be, but I hope, I hope you all got something out of it, because so we touched base, basically, on, that it doesn't matter, of course, what key you're in, you, you it doesn't matter what instrument you play, you know, uh, of course, a blues scale is a blues scale, and also, our major scale is a major scale, but mainly, that you can do a lot, like, this is all based on that blues scale, but if I, you can just... Break it up, practice it, have, you know, create licks. That's one, five, seven, five. You get the picture, it's all right there, you know, in front of you. One blow in the harmonica, one draw, and this is the major thing. No, going back to the, let's say the blue scale in the, in the first position, it would be the one blow. Then, let's see, E that would be flat, E would be, um, 
That's hard to do in first position on the, uh, to get that flat in third. Because unless you overblow, I guess, the one, and then you get the flat in third. And I can't overblow it very well, if at all, and I can't get that flat in third. But let's just, uh, do what we can in first position. You know, oh, it makes no difference. This is a ukulele. But, and the harmonica that I have is not working right. But I will tell you the numbers anyway. It's the same. If you want to play a blues scale in first position, it would be the one in first string on the one, the one, and then the second hole would be uh, the three. But you got to bend that down if you can, a half step for the flat of third, or leave it at the three. And then the uh, fourth, um, Thing would be the uh, C, 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 D, E, F would be the um, uh, full step bend on the second, and then half step bend on the second, and then um, and then uh, draw on the second for your five, and then uh, for your flood seventh, um, you go half step bend um, on the third hole, and then a full step. I mean, then blow, then blow the four, or go back to the one and blow. So you blow the four, coming back, blow the four, half step bend, half step bend, draw three, um, draw two for your five, uh, draw two, bend, uh, a half step bend for your five flat, and then full step, draw two, bend for your four, and then um, if you can bend that. Uh, second whole note, uh, or then that's fine, or else leave it a natural third, and then um, blow on your one. And if you can overblow on your one, then you got your natural third there because it's, it's a step and a half up. Or you can overblow on the four. But anyway, the point is, is that, um, gee, wait though, on the seventh hole, um, you can, in first position, you got your one on the seventh, your uh, flat and third. You can get that. Yes, you can get that up the top of the harp. You can get that flat and third. Oh, where is it? Damn it, Monica. Okay, um, here's the seven. That's kind of the blue scale. That half step on the tenth is not is is that natural seven, but I can get the flat of third. <laughs> Try that. It's pretty close to being the blue scale in the, in first position. So it's seven blow eight. Blow half set. Nine blow bend. Nine blow ten bend blow. Seven, blow, eight, bend, nine, blow, nine, blow, bend, and then nine, blow. Seven blow, eight blow, bend, nine blow, bend, and then nine blow, ten bend, blow. So that's kind of major minor blue scale together um, on the top otherwise
So that's the blue scale in first position now on the bottom of the harp. The one blow. Say, so yeah, this is a say I'm able to overbuild on the first hole and then magically get that E flat or the two the third flat. Well I have got it. No, it's not really, but I pretend I have it. I don't care. I'll blow the three natural. That's kind of pretty, throw that octave in there. Sets you nice up for that. Wow, this lesson's gone longer than I thought it would be, even, even now saying it again. I have work to do, I gotta go see the animals. I shouldn't be doing this this time of the day. Oh well, anyways, I did it and it's over, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you got something out of it. So if we touch base basically on scales again, 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 saying how much you can mix them up. And I thought the ukulele thing, I just thought brought that out as an example. It's just how simple stuff is can be and how interesting it can also be. I was doing that. That's four, four, three, one. Let's see, that would be like four, three, one. Yeah, four, three, one, so that would be. Four, flat of three, one. All part of the blues scale. And but. That's a cool little lyric. Try that one. For a blow, three draw, pass that bend, three blow, or two draw. <laughs> and since the two draw is the same, you can do a little right with that two draw and bend it straight on down, two draw, half step, and then full step. And then hit that two blow. And after you do the two half, half step, half step, then kind of going back to the blues scale. <laughs> That's the scale, but or you can do that lick and have fun with it and do this. <laughs> Wow, I'm going to have to stop vaping sometime, but this calls for a vape now. I just, I got to learn how to overblow. That's all there is to it. I've been cutting it off. Papa Deller has tried to teach me. I'm not very good at looking at YouTube videos, understanding it, but I do understand the concept, and I can do it a little bit, but now I see where it can come in real handy. Um, you know, when you're blowing that, when you're in first position and you want that flat at third, in the blue scale, you're, it's hard, you can get it there, sure, on the eighth, draw, eighth blow, you can get it there, but the five blow is hard to get it, uh, and the four, second blow is hard to get that blow band, you know, anyway, 
Okay, catch y'all later. Have a good morning, night, day, evening, wherever you're at. And I keep forgetting to say this, but if you like it, please press the like thing. And um, and if you want to, subscribe. And I'll try to keep the next video. I will keep the next videos, uh, you know, shorter. But uh, I've just put the little short out about the scales. And I've talked about this and talked about this. And the reason I keep talking about it is that I learned this from Jason Ricky, which he and Dennis Grunling this last year and a half, how scales are so important. And I, it's crazy. I, I learned from Chris Salgado the first couple of years of playing. In fact, he's trading narcotics for lessons, and I don't think that's that's no big secret because he told this story about me like that. We did Earl Burnside that I would come over and trade him narcotics for lessons, you know. But then, and people would go, uh huh, that's kind of you know, a stupid fucking person. But he was the person that helped get Earl Burnside out on the road, you know, so people would notice him. Oh, oh well, that's great. Yes, all of a sudden I've done a good thing from a bad thing. Well, fuck all that. It's who I am. Okay, um,. So the point I'm trying to make of that story, what was the point of that story? God, I lost track of what the point of the story is. Is that, um, oh, I don't know. I'm just saying that, that oh, yeah, I know what the point is. That we talked to, he taught me tons, you know, tongue blocking and all kinds of cool stuff. You know, trauma, you know, effects like, um, you know, I can't tell you how much he taught me, and um, you know, a lot more than just that. Mainly, I think the main thing, he, a tongue blocker thing, he changed it from puckering to a tongue blocker, and then, and also just subtle things. But we didn't talk much about theory, and which is okay, um, but scales. We mentioned the circle of fifths, you know, which is like C to E, and you know, circle of fifths, one, five, and then, um, Anyway, we talked about that once or twice, and horn lines, learning horn lines from uh, horn players, and trying to apply them to harmonica, which is always good. Um, but not much about these scales. And it's it's embarrassing to admit that it, it took me, I did write them all out one time, like four years ago or something, and I and practiced them some, and then sort of gave up on it, because I figured, well, I play the way I play, I'm a country blues player or play bluesy stuff and I'm, I'm not really going to be playing jazz well you do play sometimes run into jazz people and whatever and you want to be competent so it would have helped knowing the scales better but I knew what I knew and I know if I had known the scales at times it would have made better it would have made my playing um it just would have been a lot more fun at a gig I could have done a lot more and I, I mean you could still sound good with limited with less than what you could know but if you can learn more above what you do now, even if you don't use it that much, but you know it and you practice it some, one day it's there. It's like a toolbox where you have a tool and you don't use it very much. But then when you need it and you surprise somebody, somebody's car is up, I've got just the tool for you. Wow, you're a lifesaver. Or you sound really good at a gig because you got your tools. In order, you've been practicing those skills. Now, I'm going away. See y'all later. There's that thing again telling me what time it is. I gotta go. Bye-bye.